In this video, we will make use of the ggplot2 package in R to create bar charts. This package is an implementation of the grammar of graphics approach to creating graphics. To create a bar chart, we will consider some data from 2007 in the UK, which is the five most important food and agricultural com commodities, and this is measured in metric tons. So, to create this bar chart, the first thing we will do is get access to our data. Now, as it's a reasonably straightforward data frame, we'll just copy across some code into R and submit it. So this is merely a function call to data.frame function, which creates a data frame. In this case, we've got two columns, the first of which is a factor listing the five commodities, and the second column is a variable which is the production in thousands of metric tons. So to make use of the ggplot2 library, we first of all make it available with the function require. So require ggplot2, so it waits a little bit and then tells us which packages have been loaded into R. There's a general purpose plotting function called ggplot, rather than having to make use and remember a large number of different function names depending on the type of plot. So the way we work with this is first up we call ggplot and the first argument is the name of a data frame. So in this case we're making use of the data frame UK 2007 which we just created. Now the second option is a rather oddly named argument AES which stands for aesthetics. Now, aesthetics are used to map from data in our data frame to various elements that make up our graph. Now, by default, the first two elements that go to the AES function are the X variable and the Y variable, so the horizontal and vertical data. So what we want on our X axis is the commodities. So we put in the name commodity. So it works out that we want to look in data frame UK 2007. And then for the vertical axis, the y-axis, we want to make use of production. Now at the moment, ggplot knows what data we want to use, but not what type of graph we want to produce. So we make use of what are called geoms. And the way we do this is we use the plus to indicate we want to add something else to the graph. And then we add geom underscore bar. And we're not specifying any particular functional arguments. So if we run this and then drag this over into view, we'll see that we've got a bar chart and it's worked out some elements to put on the graph such as sensible axis labels as they're based on the names of the columns in the data frame. So we can extend this to put axis labels on. The up arrow to bring back the previous command and then we add plus xlab, so xlab as with other Graphics packages indicates what we want to appear on the x-axis label. So we just want to replace that with the label commodity. And then we have a plus y lab, which we use to specify what text to put on the y-axis. So here we put production in brackets, 1,000 metric tons. So if we submit that, we'll see that there have been some small changes to this particular graph. We have a different y-axis label. So let's say we want to add on an overall title. We make use of the ops function, and here we specify that title equals whatever we want the title to be. So we'll put in UK 2007, top five food and agricultural commodities. Submit that takes a bit of time to produce a graph, and this is what we end up with.